In this video, I'll be showing you how to update the firmware on the DJM2000 and DJM2000 Nexus. Keeping a firmware up to date is important as it can introduce new features and helps to fix bugs. The latest firmware version available introduces the new Beat Slicer, the Peak Limiter and the Sync Master as well as the improved Sidechain Effect feature to the DJM2000. Before doing the update, check the current version on your product. When the mixer is powered on, hold down the utility button and then click version number on the touch panel. Make a note of the firmware version to then check it against the latest version available online. The software update can be downloaded from pioneerdj.com forward slash support. Click on the DJM2000 or DJM2000 Nexus depending on your product and then click on software download. Click on firmware and then check the version against your mixer's current version. If you need to update, click download. Once you've downloaded the firmware, with your mixer switched off, connect it to your computer with a LAN cable. Ensure no other programs or applications are running. While holding down the beat effect and remix effect on off buttons, power on the mixer. Open the firmware installer file and it will connect to your mixer and then begin the update automatically. It's important not to power off the device during the update as this may cause issues. You will see the update's progress on the touch panel display. Once it has finished, restart the mixer to complete. As the firmware update is done over a LAN connection, you may have some networking issues. Follow these steps to avoid them. On Windows, go into Control Panel. Open Network Connections and then right click on the LAN device and then click Properties. Select Internet Protocol TCP slash IP and again click Properties. Then select Obtain IP Address automatically and Obtain DNS Server automatically. Clicking OK will save any changes you've made. On a Mac, go to System Preferences, go to Network and then check the Ethernet status. Green means everything's OK, yellow means there's a device connected but there are connectivity issues, and red means no device is currently connected or recognised. If there are issues, click on the drop down menu next to Configure IPv4 and then select using DHCP. Closing the System Preferences will save any changes you have made.